hi guys welcome everyone in this video what we are going to cover is uh, uh, ipv6 over ipv4 okay so what we are doing is uh, we have these two ce routers ce r5 and r6 which is having the ipv6 system ip address and uh, what we need to do is we need to ensure that r5 will ping the I r6 system ip address and r6 will ping the uh, r5 ipv6 uh, system ip address so we will achieve this with the help of a static route and we have uh, r5 and r1 of c2p uh, ipv6 connectivity r2 and r6 we have ipv6 connectivity in core we have ipv4 isis running so before starting uh, the configuration i request you all to subscribe my channel and press a bell icon so that you can get update of new videos on time so first we will going to check the connectivity between R5 and R1 and then we are going to check the connectivity R2 and R6 and then next step we are going to configure a static route for R6 IPv6 uh, system IP address on R5 and for R5 IPv6 system address on R6 okay so let's start the configuration just hop on, on router 1 so this is my router 1 show router interface so this is my ip uh, or to r5 okay and ping r5 ip addresses so i'm able to ping r5 ip address now okay and on r5 show router interface and I am able to ping check R1 okay I am able to ping that so R5 and R1 connectivity is fine now go to the R2 interface Oh, this is on IP address R6 so the connectivity between R2 and R6 also fine okay so on R5 what we are going to do is we are going to configure the static route for R6 IP address let's First, copy the R6 system IP address. This one and on R5. So configure router static route entry for R6. Okay. And what next stop is R6 slash 128. Complete. Uh, we need to give next stop is my R1 interface IP address. So will take this this is my link local address on r1 on r5 and we need to specify the interface as well here in nokia now info look my route is still shut down right so i did need to do the no shut as well for this so uh, back show router state route ipv4 now sorry ipv6 i need to check so now this is my static route to for interface is r1 which is towards uh, next stop is towards r1 and it is active if it is not active it is showing n so let's check the route table as a show router route table ipv6 so we have this static route in route table as well okay now the same thing we are going to do on r6 so on r6 system ip address okay on r5 so that configure router static route entry okay slash 128 and uh, what is my next stop 
next stop IP address I will check on R2 this is my link local address on R2 so go on R6 next stop interface to R2 no shutdown show router route table IPv6 so we have the route for R6 and R5 but still we are not able to ping because we don't have route on R1 and R2 R1 and R2 does not uh, doesn't know how to reach IPv6 uh, address of R5 and R6 so let's go on R1 so configure router static route entry okay and which IP address on R1 I need to put the first I need to put the entry for R6 okay so take IP address of R6 system IP address this is the system IP address copy complete okay so now where to reach uh, uh, RPV6 for IP R, uh, R6 IPV6 uh, address R1 need to send the packet in which direction let's have a look of topology okay so R1 need to send the packet to R3 or we have a direct link they need to send the packet to R2 right either they need to send the packet to R3 or to R2 correct so anything we can give either we can give the next stop to this or I can we can give the next stop to this right but if we are giving next stop R3 we need to put another uh, static route in R4 so that they can give the packet to R2 so we have a direct link between R1 and R2 so we are giving next stop directly to R2 okay so let's uh, because it is a IPv6 address right we cannot give the R uh, IPv4 next hop in that so there is a one option indirect we can give it to 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 2 okay like this and we need to do no shut here as well like this so show router route table IPv6 we need to check so what he is saying whenever you are received the packet for uh, this IPv6 address is direct to 10.10.1.2 so now what show router route table 10.10.10.2 so it's pointing this uh, uh, the next of for 10.10.2 is 10.1.2.2 okay so now whenever we received a packet IPv6 packet for a system interface of R6 they will forward this packet to 10.10.2 they will refer the 10.10.2 and the 10.10.2 says that goes to the 10. Uh, router 2 interface 10.1.2.2 okay so this one more reachability I need on R1 is towards R5 IPv6 interface so configure router static route entry for R5 interface this uh, slash 128 next hop is show router interface which is this okay so go on R1 to R5 no shut show router uh, route table IPv6 now we have a static route for 5 as well as for 6 so same thing we need to do on R2 okay and figure router static route entry this is router 5 interface okay go on R2 next stop no next stop we need to do the indirect same as we did on R1 right this time 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 okay 
no shut down back back sorry configure sorry next stop rahega mera uh, next stop is next stop ip is this okay was r2 so six no shut down show router route table ipv6 so we have entry on this as well okay okay slash admin save let's try whether we are able to ping the ipv6 okay sorry from r6 exit on so i'm pinging so now it's pinging so that is how we can achieve ipv6 over ipv4 we can ping ipv6 ip address on ce with the with ipv4 in core with the help of a static routes so thank you guys thank you for watching my video again i am requesting you please subscribe my channel and press bell icon and also if you like my video please share it with your friends and colleagues